Hey, this is YBR once again with the experimental version of BeamNG Drive. This is the version that you can choose to use if you want it, but it has lots of glitches. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I say that every time. If you want it, go to your Steam beta settings, choose it. Anyways, uh, aside from that, we are going to look at a bridge. Now, this is not no ordinary bridge where it's just like a very static object. This bridge is actually a, um, like a dynamic moving piece of thing. It's considered a vehicle because the, the way it's designed, but it's not a vehicle. You can't drive a bridge. You just can't drive a bridge. It's it's not possible. You can't even color a bridge. It's just you can't do those kinds of things. But this is the bridge. And as you see, it's actually a bridge that will be affected by like the weight you put on it. So for example, if we said let's spawn on, I don't know, how about we say let's put three trucks on it all at once, the bridge will dip because there's a ton of weight on it. Well, actually, there's literally tons of weight on it with all these trucks. I think they weigh uh, about... I don't know how much they weigh. I think it's like a bit over one and a half tons, but not quite two tons. So if we have all these on it, it's going to weigh about maybe five tons. Just real rough estimate because I don't know exactly how much the trucks weigh. I could easily look it up, but let's not worry about the small little things like how the exact weight. You could just know this is the weight of three trucks. You can see that the bridge will dip the more trucks you add the more it dips. Now this was added more along the lines just to kind of show um, some improvements on other parts of the engine, of uh, the game engine I mean. And for me, I'm just playing around with it because it's like, ooh, this is fun. And just keep putting cars on the bridge more and more and more. Yeah, look, we can fit more cars. How many cars can we put on the bridge before my computer really, really starts to cry and say, what are you doing to me? This is too many cars. I'm going to kill you. I don't know how many, but we're going to find out. We got another car. We're going to put it on the bridge. Until my computer starts saying, stop it or I'm going to quit. So far, it's it's okay. I don't have any big lag or anything yet, so we're going to keep adding cars. Next one is on. Next truck, go! I don't know why we're adding cars under the bridge like this. It's just like, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's really put this uh, fancy, uh, uh, what is it, a 4790K CPU to use. I don't have a perfectly stable overclock on it yet. It's just a low clock for when I'm recording videos. Eventually, I want to get a higher clock on it, but let's just see how how good it can go. If it's uh, decent enough, I don't need to overclock it more. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. I'm just talking about computer stuff, you know? Not something you need to know to play the game. So we got like a half dozen trucks on this thing, and you can see it actually held up. And it's, it is sagging, of course, but it held up. Look at that, just a pile of trucks on the bridge. But look at the way it's sagging. It was not normally like that before. Stinking camera's still screwy in this version, and the experimental version still. It's not something that's been, uh, it hasn't been updated since I've started using it, so it's not like I should expect it to. But as you see, all those cars on the bridge make it look totally different in shape, and uh, I should probably get rid of the, uh, all those cars because I don't need them right now. So let's go and do that with the map editor. Okay, I know I have to take a second when I transition around between those. I might have cut off my words even when I just say, look, go to the map editor, but oh well. Okay. Oh, I hate this thing. Okay, there we go. So first, let's just say goodbye to this truck. Next truck, goodbye to that one. We'll keep uh, maybe th two or three trucks. Goodbye. And goodbye. And you see how the weight of the, the ramp was actually getting reduced as things were taken off. Cut myself off. I, just, I cut myself off. I was saying go ahead and go back to normal mode. And let's try putting uh, something heavy on this. So you could see it really go boom, you know, like the T-Series, that's heavy. Boom, look at that. You see how it's like bouncing and stuff? That thing's heavy. Ooh, let's put two T-Series on it. We need more T-Series! Yes, more! Boom. So with both of these on it, oh my goodness, it's bouncing so hard I'm going to fall off. Oh, bad ideas, bad ideas. Uh-oh, we're leaning. Uh, we're stuck in the ramp, actually, and we can't drive even if we... Oh, goodness. Hello, other truck. Oh, we fell. <laughs> There's like two idiots trying to fight. You know, I'm like, I got you. Oh, we're falling off a bridge. <laughs> like, both of them lose. How about what if we did an 8,000 kilogram cube, which is, uh... How much did the truck weigh? I think it's actually... Was it similar to the truck, or is it... I don't remember. I forget how much the truck weighed. Alright, but this thing is a lot denser. No matter what. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck was that? That was unexpected. What the heck? 
Okay, don't put H cube on the the what? So if you just set it here. Oh, what if we had a car on it while we did that? Would it work as a trampoline? Can we make a trampoline? We need a fairly fairly light car, so the Covet is the perfect one for this. It's not because we're dropping it. You see, you could drop the Covet on it, and it's perfectly fine. Oh, what if we drop that from a distance though, and just kind of let it trampoline itself? So it's like, wee! I found a trampoline. I'm a happy car. Boing! Oh my God, the wheels fly off. Oh, look at it bounce. That's awesome. I wonder. If It'd be great if you could kind of change the the um the spring density of that thing, but I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't change anything on the this thing. It'd be cool if you could, but you can't. But it's like boing. The thing is, I wanted to do that was put the car on this. Hopefully, it'll stay and put the cube on it. Oh goodness, the cube missed. And then it'll fly into the air if everything goes according to plan. Ah, it worked. Kind of, it didn't fly far, but it flew a little bit. Ooh, 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 okay. Here's a better idea. Move the car over a bit. Oh, it's not centered still. It's centered. Okay, good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the gravity on really high. And then we're going to put it on lower. So it's like the car weighs like double the weight it really is. On it. Now we're going to, then we're going to hit like Pluto. Boing! Look at that trampoline! And sun. Oh god. That did not work out. So it's like there, look at the trampoline now. It's ruined. And then you say, uh, Earth gravity. Woo! Trampoline! It's not even a bridge anymore to me, it's a trampoline. As far as I'm concerned, this is a trampoline. Woo! So dumb. Uh-oh. Trampoline is, itself is in the air now, that's not good. Look at the car go. That's Pluto gravity. Pluto gravity is just everything flies. And then the sun, and then, goodbye car. Blah. Oh god, totaled the car. Totaled the car entirely, the car is dead. Total, just, uh, dead. Alright, Earth gravity though? Oh, crooked. Oh, look at it going, spinning everywhere. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it, I like this thing. It's like a trampoline though. It's just, it's fun to mess around with, you know? What else can we do with it? Um. Okay. Because it's, it's like one of those things, how dumb can we get? What if we said trampoline on trampoline? Yes, I'm just calling it a trampoline from now. I know you can't stop me. So where is it, bridge? My mouse is on it. I just didn't see it. So we're going to just put a trampoline on the trampoline. Like so. Hopefully that works. Oh, not quite. <laughs> Did not work out. One trampoline fell over. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, stay, 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 stay. Oh, they just kind of go inside of each other. That doesn't work. Ooh, I just had a really good idea. It requires map editing, though. Oh god, here we go, right? All right, so what my idea is, is I'm gonna put this thing on some stilts so it's even higher up, so then it has more area to like spring downward so it'll fling the cars even higher. If everything goes according to plan, it is at least. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Probably cut my voice off again because I always seem to do that. All right, so to do that, we're just gonna say, um. Well, there's a bunch of ways you could do it, but I think the easiest way would just be like this. You go to Terrain Editor, you say, um, let's see, set height, and I don't know how high we need to put it. Let's see, what is 100 at? 100 is below that, so we're going to need to put it higher. Something like, uh, how about that? How high is that? Oh, that's a bit too high. <laughs> a bit too high. And how about 400? 400 is too low. How about, try about five, six something. Let's go 600. Oh, that's too high. Maybe I should have done 500. So we're just hitting numbers until we get a height that I like. Alright, so it's going to be 550 maybe. Whoa. Yeah, that could work, that could work. Okay, that's good. Then we're going to make the brush bigger and a square. So we're going to do, uh, I don't know, 20? How big is 20? Well, I think that might be good. Alright, so we go boom, boom. And then we go boom. I don't know, this might actually just make the bridge kind of collapse on itself. I honestly don't know exactly what will happen. And then we're going to bring it up here, and then put it up there, and then we'll see what happens. Whoops, wrong button. Um, there we go. Oh, look at the bridge. It's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm inside of something. Oh, it's climbing. What the heck? Look at that. It's climbing up on its own. Uh, it's a little glitchy, but look at the bridges are climbing. 
I have totally confused the game. The game is like, why are there bridges inside of bridges, and why are they inside of the ground? What have you done, YBR? And the bridges are like, we're gonna climb. Let's climb, man. We are climbing. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but it's hilarious. It's like, why the heck? Like, this is something that the game would have no idea what to do in like a situation like this. It's like, what is going on? What is YBR doing? It's one of those things where I can't even explain it, really. And so I only need one of those to be a bridge, so the other one could be a car. Let's go ahead and say, uh... Now, I, don't, I really don't know if the bridges will fall in or what. Um, so let's see. Let's set the car here, and let's go ahead and put the bridges as a reset spot right there. So if anything happens, I can reset. Ooh! Ooh, that's not centered anymore. Okay, let's try to center them up first. Uh, that's not centered either. How about right there? No, that is really uncentered again. There? Okay, this is difficult. Alright, so if I'm right above here and hit it, where does that center it? Ah! Huh. So I need to be right here then. A little bit more, and we should be like, I just want them to both be on the ground, you know? Oh, God. Okay, that one's on it. That one's on it. Alright, we're good, we're good. So we're good now. The truck's like, I'm getting crushed by a bridge here. Sorry, truck. Alright, so now, we can set sun gravity on and see what happens. Maybe we'll build up to sun gravity, because I really don't know what's... I, I'm just... Like, this is just YBR's crazy idea right here. Sun gravity! Ooh, it worked, it worked. Okay, now we're gonna fly, probably. Oh, not that bad. I thought we would fly a little bit more. I mean, that's like, well, that is quite a bit of flight. Never mind. Right, what if we use something heavier like the T-Series on it? You know, I'm wondering, oh, don't fall, truck. And the truck's like, I'm falling. No, stay. Stay. Stay, bad boy. You need to go up the ramp. We'll just teleport it up. Oh, good job, boy. Good truck. Who's a good truck? You're a good truck. Yes, you are. No, I'm hitting the accelerator. There we go. All right, that was a little more difficult than I expected. All right, we're just gonna set it right there. And then the sun is here. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, it pulled through. It's not what I wanted. Ah. All right, so we'll, we'll respawn it right there just in case that happens again. This bridge is just like, oh, too much weight though. All right, let's play. This is a spawn point. In case anything goes wrong. So sun, gravity, earth. How far did it fly? I don't know if it'll fly much higher because it does way more, but... It still flew quite a bit. Whoop, and now it's going down. And then we gotta try to place it on here. Alright, so, now that we did this, I have a question. Can we cave in the bridge with enough weight? So you see, when we have the sun, gravity on with just this one, it kind of doesn't work out. The, the vehicle just falls and misses, so that's not good. Now the bridge is jiggling like Jello. It's like, I'm Jello, look at me! Stop being Jello. So just having the cube on it makes it kind of freak out. What if we had the cube on it in sun gravity? I can't even tell what's going on. I freeze everything. The bridge is leaning. Why is the bridge leaning? What happened here? The bridge is falling off the. Whoopsie. Uh oh, we're on the wrong vehicle. Ah. There we go. So, let's see here. Undo that, and then where, what is the bridge doing? Right now. It's falling over. I can tell it to stop doing that. I, I, I can't even explain exactly what the H-Cube just did right there. We need to slow-mo this to see what's going on. We need to move the H-Cube over, that's the problem. Put the H-Cube right there. What the heck? I th what? If I put it here, will it be better? Buttons! Wrong buttons! Wrong buttons everywhere! Oh, sheesh. It's not respawning it where I said it. I don't know why. Oh well. E either way, it turns out the bridge is actually safe up here. In this crazy little island thing I made. But what if it wasn't? Right? What if it wasn't? What if it was, like, really unstable? So let's, um, go back to the map editor. Let's, uh, let physics kind of go to normal speed. 
and gravity go to normal as well, then go to the map editor. Okay, then we're going to go to the map editor, so we go boom. We're going to use the same tool we used before. If I can remember which one it was. Mm, this one? Was it? No, it's this one. I'm going to reduce the height a ton. So we're going to say, how about, you know, really short here. So we say, uh. Whoa, 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 too much, too much. Oh, goodness. Bad idea. <laughs> I just made a hole. <laughs> Who let YVR have a map editor? Ah, we need a bigger bridge. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this video here because this is getting dumb. I'm just making holes everywhere now. Because it's like I give up, I messed up, the bridge fell, abandon all hope. So, let's get the map back to being normal and sane, like so. And, uh, yeah, I just noticed there's like a little racetrack or something right here. Huh. Anyways, though, that is the bridge, man. You, I don't really know exactly what to do with it, but I'm doing stuff with it. That's the thing. It's like I'm doing all kinds of things with this bridge. And I don't know if it's really showing its purpose at all, but I'm like having fun with it. It's like, I'm like, it's a trampoline. And we're going to try to cave it in, and it, I, it's just like, there's so much you can do with it. It's just a bridge. But if you're crazy and creative, think of all the things you could do. I'm sure you guys would have even more ideas of things you could do with this bridge. But um, that's all I have in my mind of ideas to do, so. Till next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya. Make a hole, make a hole. Aww. And the bridge don't fall on it. That's because that's like the height thing. You gotta change things or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'll see ya.